Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is Maddie here from Chill TCG, and we are finally here uh, with a deck profile video for, uh, of course, Arceus V-Star, which is why you clicked here on the video. Um, yeah, we're back. Uh, Brilliant Stars has released its live here on PTCGO, and I was fortunate enough uh, to be able to acquire all of the new cards, start building some of the new decks, and of course, all of the uh, deck profiles and videos and, and content is going to be streaming out here in the next week or two. Uh, so I'm really, really excited for this. Um, yeah, I mean, the set just to, uh, just released. So if you guys are looking to pick up some Brilliant Star codes, I highly suggest you go over to ptcgostore.com and use the code CHILL5 for 5% off your entire order. It is the best place to go for any PTCGO related products. So, uh, let's hop right into the video. I'm actually super, super excited for this. Um, I have a lot of videos planned, but the first one that I wanted to make in the first video I wanted to publish is going to be on Arceus V Star. Now, um, we'll cover Arceus V Star in a second. However, uh, one thing I do want to say about this new card is that not only is it really good, it's a, a very fun card to play and, and to, and to use, because you can build decks with it in so many different ways. It's a colorless card, uh, so realistically it fits in so many different archetypes. However, today uh, I'm going to be making a video on RC's V-Star, uh, the electric variant, uh, the lightning variant, uh, which is personally my favorite way to play. I've tested a whole bunch of versions, and uh, the one that we're looking at today is going to be uh, the lightning type, the electric type uh, version of RC's V-Star. Before we get into the details of the deck, I figure we just cover uh, RC's V and V-Star really quickly. So let's take a look at RC's V. It's a colorless uh, Pokemon. Weak to fighting, same as the V-Star here. 220 HP. Uh, this is the V here, retreat cost to two. It's got two attacks. The first one is what's important, Trinity Charge for two colorless energy. Uh, search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your V Pokemon in any way that you would like. Doesn't do damage, however, uh, three energies for two, um, you know, for two colorless energy, which is actually a single attachment now uh, with the new turbo energy. Accelerating three energies can be really good. However, uh, we evolve into Arceus V-Star. And if you don't know what V-Stars are yet, they're kind of a mix between V-Maxes and Tag Team Pokemon. Um, they're, uh, they're like V-Maxes, like I just said. However, they have less HP, so 280 HP on this guy. However, uh, it's you, you evolve into it just like a V-Max would. Uh, however, it's only worth two prize cards still, which is actually definitely really interesting. Uh, but this card is absolutely phenomenal. Again, retreat cost of two, weak to fighting. It has the attack Trinity Nova, does 200 damage. And just like the um, the V here, search your deck for three basic energy cards and attach them to our V Pokemon in any way that we would like. So, uh, very consistent damage while also accelerating energy very, very rapidly. This card is phenomenal. That's also three colorless energy, so like I said, fits in every deck. However, V-Star cards have these V-Star powers. These can be attacks or abilities. However, your V-Star power, just like your tag team GX attack, you can only use once per game. Uh, RC's V-Star's ability here, it's V-Star power, is Star Birth. During your turn, you may search your deck for up to two cards, any two cards, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. So very, very good consistency ability. Uh, this can be played while it's on the bench or in the active whenever. If, if you have an Arceus V-Star in play, you can use Star Birth at any point. Uh, you can only use it once. However, searching your deck for any two cards is extremely, extremely powerful um, and gives any deck that Arceus V-Star is in a lot of consistency. However, uh, the main build with this deck is going to be focused around Arceus V-Star's Energy Acceleration, which is, of course, Trinity Nova. Uh, we are going to be using Star Birth, but we're really going to be utilizing Trinity Nova in this deck. And we're going to be paired up with the new Raichu V, which also came out uh, in Brilliant Stars. This card is actually phenomenal. Only 200 HP on this V Pokemon, but the retreat cost is one. Again, weak to fighting, so this is a very fighting weak deck. However, we have two attacks on this guy. The first one, Fast Charge. One lightning energy. If you go first, you can use this attack on your first turn. That's phenomenal. Search your deck for a lightning energy and attach it to this Pokemon. Most decks like to go first right now. It does give you an advantage, let alone being able to accelerate an additional energy on your uh, first turn by using fast charge. Very, very good card. However, the attack is also phenomenal. Uh, two lightning energy, 60 times. So, you may discard any amount of lightning energy from any of your Pokemon, um, and it does 60 damage for each card you discarded this way. So, we're going to be accelerating the energy with Arceus V-Star and getting some big one-hit KOs with Raichu V. So, very phenomenal kind of pairing between these two. Very fast paced, very consistent, as well as extremely powerful. Reminds me a lot of Pikachu and Zekrom back in the day. Kind of a similar feel, if you know what I'm saying. So, Raichu V, definitely super good. We do have a Bolton V in this deck for the similar purpose of, you know, if we are going second, we can electrify. Um, and Bolt Storm is also a really good attack. So, 
similar. Uh, Bolton and Raichu are very similar. Uh, however, I threw a Bolton in here because, you know, why not? Kind of a throwback. We are running a 3-3 Mareep and Flaffy. Uh, also an energy acceleration engine here uh, from Evolving Skies. Flappy's, uh, D Flaffy with Dynamotor here is going to help us uh, accelerate some more energy to our benched Pokemon. Definitely really good. Not only that, but we have some consistency cards in here. We have the new Luminion V, just one of these uh, with Luminous, or Luminous Sign. Uh, it's going to allow us to basically search our deck for any supporter card when we play Lum uh, Luminion V onto our bench. Incredibly powerful. And on top of that, we have a Crobat V to draw some cards. Uh, the rest of the deck is pretty standard. I guess I can kind of go over it. We have a lot of, uh, Pokemon Search. As you can see, we do have the new Ultra Ball in here, as well as Quick Ball. Ultra Ball is like Quick Ball, but you discard two cards. Search your deck for any Pokemon. And, uh, we have three of the Stormy Mountains. Can help us to find those Electric-type Pokemon to put down, um, onto our bench, as well as Evolve. Any Electric-type, um, well, it's a basic Electric-type Pokemon, but very, very good. We can also, um... Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's what that card is for. Uh, Ordinary Rod, because we are going to be discarding some energy with Raichu. Uh, we are also discarding a lot in this deck in general, so Ordinary Rod going to help us to shuffle those energies and Pokemon back into our deck. Um, everything else in here, pretty standard. We do have four Bosses Orders, four Marnies, and four of the Professor's Research. Just the best supporters in the game to make your deck kind of flow the way it should. And uh, we're actually running a quite a bit of tool cards here. We do have two Air Balloons on top of the two Switches, so four Switching Outs total. Um, and we're also running two Big Charms. The reason I'm running the Big Charm in this deck is mainly because Raichu V is pretty frail. It has 200 HP, and Arceus V-Star is an incredibly popular Pokemon in this format. Uh, so uh, it is going to be hitting for 200 damage, and uh, Big Charm is going to bring us up to 230. Hopefully living an attack from other Arceus V-Stars, which we might be playing against. Um, and we have a Choice Belt, which is actually going to allow us to do 30 more damage to our opponent's active Pokemon V. Very good as well. Going to help us get those one-hit KOs with Raichu V. And uh, I guess last but not least, I should mention the Double Turbo Energy, uh, which is going to be an incredibly important card in this deck. Um, it reads, as long as this card is attached to Pokemon, it provides two colorless energy. However, the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to uh, are subtracted by 20 damage. So, um, you know, not the best. Uh, it's going to take away, we're of course attaching this to Arceus to help us get this attack off more consistently. Uh, we're going to be doing less damage with Arceus V-Star, but uh, for the most part that's not a really a big deal. And however, um, it's, uh, you know, we're mainly using this for the ability. Plus 180 is still a two-hit KO and everything in the format. And we're also running nine basic lightning energy, so this is the deck. Uh, very fast paced, pretty consistent um, from all of the versions of Arceus V-Star that I have played. Uh, this one uh, is my favorite so far, so I wanted to make a video on it. Uh, Raichu V is also going to be a pretty accessible card. I know Arceus V and V-Star are really hard cards to be getting right now, so uh, this probably isn't going to be the most accessible deck. But later down the line, uh, if, of course, you are interested in playing Arceus or, um, you know, if you can get your hands on some of these cards, I highly suggest you maybe trying out this Lightning-type build. So uh, let's hop into some ladder matches. We're going to try to get some gameplay for you guys. Uh, just like the good old days, uh, hop on the ladder, and hopefully we can uh, get some games that, you know, last more than a few minutes. We'll see. It's always tough with ladder matches, but uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, you know, we have some limited time, but hopefully we can get some gameplay and show you, uh, just kind of showcase uh, how RC's V-Star and Raichu V really work together uh, properly, which they really do. Uh, I'm really, really excited about it. All right, so let's, uh, let's get into some games, and uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, let's hop onto the ladder with Arceus V-Star, the Lightning version. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, the one thing I do like about our deck is we do have uh, some good starting options, whether we're going first or second. We win the coin flip, and I think most of the time we'd like to go first, so let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, we can start with a Raichu. It doesn't look like we can. Actually, we can. We have Stormy Mountain, Air Balloon, and we have the Energy, so this is quite a good start, uh, if I'm being 100% honest here. So, um, And we have V-Star in hand, so this is actually really good. It looks like we're playing Cinderace V-Max, which is a very interesting matchup. Um, but I'm really excited. Um, this is, again, one of my favorite decks to be playing right now. We get to draw two extra cards. Of course we're going to do that. Uh, why wouldn't we? Um, and, uh, yeah, our hand is looking quite good. Let's put Stormy Mountain into play immediately. And I want to grab this Raichu because we can go ahead um, and fast charge right off the bat. Um, you have a good deck. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you saying that. Um, but I think I also... Um, hmm. We definitely want to fast charge. Um, hmm. I kind of want a quick ball though. So here, let's attach to the ride too. Let's just do this all immediately. I'm not going to attach to the choice belt yet. Um, but I will actually quick ball away the Marnie. 
because I want to get a Mareep down. We like to get these set up as early as possible. So we're going to put that into play. We're going to hold the choice band, uh, the choice belt, sorry, and we're going to fast charge uh, just to attach that energy to our Raichu. And it looks like we've got um, pretty much all of our Pokemon, I think. It looks, uh, well, we are missing a Raichu. So uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. We have our twin energies. Are we missing any uh, basic energies? I think we're missing one. Um, and we're down at Research and a Marnie. Okay. Also down Stormy Mountain. Okay. Okay. All right. Not bad. It's definitely a pretty good start. Um, it is. Uh, depending on what his hand looks like, we could, um, you know, get a, a quick attack off, which would be phenomenal. But we're looking to, I think, attack with an Arceus V-Star next turn. And um, to be 100% honest, I think we can do that uh, pretty uh, confidently. Um... Man, if we had that choice built on the Arceus, and then we might have been able to actually just KO the Cinderace, which could have been really cool. Um, but it looks, you know, it, he's going to evolve them anyway, so um, getting the just the, the 180 damage off on a Cinderace V would be really phenomenal, because it kind of forces him to evolve um, and put himself in a two-hit KO range. So he actually is just going to attach and retreat, uh, which is pretty good for us, I would say. Pretty good for us, I would say. Um, okay, so let's Stormy Mountain immediately. Um, and uh, we could grab a Bolton, but I think we grab another Mareep. Actually, I do like grabbing a Bolton. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to attach. Um, here's what we're going to do. Hmm. Man, it's interesting decisions. Let's uh, evolve the Arceus V-Star. We got to do that. Uh, I just kind of have to decide where we want to put the um, the items here. We could put Choice Belt on the Raichu here um, to immediately go for a KO on a, on, on a Pokemon here. But I think we really want to attack with Arceus. So let's go ahead. Attached to the Arceus. Um, hmm. Although that was our attachment for the turn. So I shouldn't have done that. Uh, actually, I definitely shouldn't have done that. Because now we can't uh, attack with Arceus this turn. Which is fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the Big Charm on Raichu. Choice build the Bolts in. And we're going to research to draw seven more cards. Alright. Okay, so this hand is a little bit interesting. Uh, three energies in hand. Um, we could Starbirth this turn. Uh, however, I don't really know if we want to do that. I think we might just want to fast charge. However, um, hmm, let me think. So if we, we could technically... Eh. Yeah, I don't know. This is an interesting scenario to be in, I think. Again, our priority is to get the Trinity Nova off. And we're not going to be able to do that till next turn. Um, I kind of messed up. We would have been able to get it off that last turn if I uh, if I didn't play incorrectly. Thing is, should I Ultra Ball this turn? I actually am. I'm going to get rid of an Energy and a Stormy Mountain to grab ourselves uh, any basic Pokemon. I kind of think that I would like to grab another Mareep um, just to guarantee uh, ourselves some uh, some results next turn. And we can Fast Charge to ourselves. Running a little bit low on lightning energy, but that is fine. Uh, not a big deal. I don't think we're in a, you know, a big threat. But yeah, last turn I definitely should have star birthed for the twin energy and maybe a switch and just got the Trinity Nova off. It probably would have been the best case scenario, um, if I'm being honest with you. But we're living in attack um, with Big Charm, and I think that's uh, the most important thing here. Uh, discard our bench. Well, I guess we're just gonna get rid of that Mareep that we put down. Not the best. But, uh, hey, uh, we should be able to survive. A crushing hammer. Oh, and he flips heads. That's no good. Uh, no good at all. Wow. Okay. So next turn, we're going to be kind of forced. Um, well, we can... Hmm, yeah. We definitely need to top deck something good here. Double turbo energy. That is exactly what we needed, in fact. Give me that Marie back. All right. Um, so here, we're going to star birth. And what we need to grab is a switch... And a Flaffy, I believe. Um, I believe those are the cards that we need to grab. Um, well, we could just manual retreat. We do have two energies in the discard pile. Because the thing here is, I would, I don't want to get locked into a hand that doesn't have any draw. So, first of all, we are going to attach that double turbo energy. Yeah, let's star birth. Okay, so I think we're going to grab the Flaffy. we could grab ourselves the Marnie just to have it for the next turn. Um, I don't really know if I like that play, though. But, you know what? We're doing it anyway. 
we are going to go ahead and do it anyway, because you know what? Why not? Let's dynamotor, grab that, and put it onto our Arceus. Now we get three energies on. We are going to have to retreat manually and discard one of those lightning energies. However, uh, it's not a huge deal. Um, what I'm actually going to do is attach this air balloon to the Flaffy, and I'm going to Marty now and put those lightning energies back in the deck because I would like to accelerate three here. Let's hopefully not draw any. We don't, which is actually quite good. Uh, for us, I think. Definitely pretty good. And we could quick ball to grab another Arceus, uh, but we hopefully we're going to draw something uh, to attack with off the prize card. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and Trinity Nova do some good damage here. It's 180. That is a two-hit KO. And I'm going to take all three of these um, and put them onto this Bolton. We could spread the energies out. That's probably the best case scenario. Um, you don't really need more than two energies on the Bolton. So I think we're actually going to put one onto... Well, we either put it on the Raichu or the Bolts, and they both have the same amount of HP at this point. Um, so yeah, let's just put it on the Bolton. I think that's fine. Um, basically, we're going to try to KO the Cinderace VMAX uh, next turn with Arceus V-Star. I don't think he has any way to one-hit KO us, um, which is going to be beneficial for us. And then we can set up a one-hit KO with Raichu um, or maybe Bolton on the second uh, Cinderace. That's kind of our strategy, and that's kind of the strategy with this deck. Uh, I did misplay early on. Uh, we could have gotten that Trinity Nova off uh, one turn earlier. So, uh, not ideal play uh, coming from me. Uh, however, um, I think we're in a pretty okay spot. Um, we're in a pretty okay spot. We have two of our attackers here uh, ready to go. A Crushing Hammer comes out. Tails, okay, it's good. It's, it's such a strange deck, Cinderace, with uh, with Crushing Hammers. Uh, but Cinderace is a pretty cool card. He can actually counter here um, to do more damage than the max Power Ball. It's still not going to one-hit KO us, though. Very, very good. We are going to get the KO as well as being able to accelerate some more energies. Um, I think, actually, what we kind of want to do here... I mean, the, th the problem is we don't have any more energies left in our deck, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, definitely a little unfortunate. Um, you know, it might actually be better for us to just retreat into the Bolton and take a KO that way, um, if we're being honest here. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, we are doing enough right one two three four five six it's 180 190 with bolton um although he has big charm and heat energy i think we're still doing enough are we yeah 190 we're doing exactly 190 right yeah we should be if i can do math which i probably can't um i guess we can just quick ball away a boss here just to kind of thin something out of the deck grab an Arceus I suppose um, I don't really want to play it though I don't really want to play it down though we could we could can we dynamotor we do actually have energy in deck which is pretty cool um, let's just attach to ourself yeah I'm not gonna play anything down I want to leave a bench space open for Crobat or Luminion uh, so let's just bolt storm take the KO and then we can actually one-hit KO with Raichu next turn. We are taking three prize cards, though. That's another Raichu. Um, I didn't check if Ordinary Rod was prized. I'm actually not sure if it is or not. Uh, but there's a Stormy Mountain either way. So we're in a pretty good spot. Again, he has three-card hand. Cinderace in the active. I think we kind of have this one wrapped up. Yeah, and he's going to go ahead and pass his turn. So uh, let's go ahead and just give him the old uh, the old heart there. Let's give him the old heart. Um... I'm BMing at this point. I know we can take the KO, but I want to attack with Raichu. We haven't been able to do it this game. Um, I'm being kind of a, a bad player right now in terms of uh, manners. But I just want to get that Raichu attack off. So we're just going to go ahead and, and get as much uh, get as much as that uh, going as we possibly can. Apologize. Oh, we can't Dynamo Path to the Peaks and play. Oh, well. Uh, all good. Let's Dyna, let's Dyna Spark or whatever it's called. All right, here we go. <laughs> The BM is real. The BM is real. 420 damage, though. Raichu V, definitely a really solid attacker. So, um, unfortunate for our opponent there. He didn't draw extremely well. However, at least we were able to kind of showcase uh, at least a little bit uh, of what Arceus V-Star can do in this deck, specifically with Raichu. I think the pairing goes really well, if I'm being honest with you. Um, yeah, pretty good. Let's hop into another one. Let's see if we can't get one more game with Arceus V-Star. Uh... Oh, we got a Tokikiss V. Look at that. Not bad at all. Uh, win or lose, we'll probably include this game as long as we don't completely dead draw because sometimes that does happen. Um, but, you know, I, uh, I yeah, I just wanted to showcase uh, one of my favorite new archetypes and way to play uh, ways to play Arceus V-Star. 
Um, you know, is Arceus going to be a top contender in the format? I think it could be pretty solid. Um, however, I do think things like Mew VMAX are still uh, just so far and beyond uh, every other deck that's in our format right now, unfortunately. But um, there's really just not much you can do. Mew VMAX is just so, so good. Fusion Strike as an archetype is, is extremely powerful. Um, okay, our hand is interesting. Again, our priority is going to get Arceus V-Star out. Uh, so we're probably going to use Ultra Ball to do that next turn. Uh, the issue with this here, though, that I'm seeing... Let's uh, air balloon to Arceus. Uh, let's quip all the way, Marnie. The issue with what our hand is right now um, is that um, we don't have an energy to attach this turn, which isn't particularly ideal. We could Crobat and just draw two cards, you know, um, which doesn't sound very good, uh, if I'm being honest with you. But we are going first, so we kind of have that uh, that advantage. I think... I mean, Crobatting for two just feels bad, but I don't really know what else to do other than to search for that energy attachment on our first turn here. Not that it's really needed, per se, although it is, though. Because if we want to get the attack off... If we want a Trinity Nova next turn, then yeah, we, we really do need the energy here. Um, so I'm actually going to Ultra Ball this right now. Get rid of these two. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm honestly at this point just really hoping that uh, that we don't get Marnie turn one Marnie, because that would be bad. But we're hoping for an energy here. Dang, that's not good. That's that's that sucks right there. Uh, however, we do have a Marie, so technically it's possible to get the Trinity Nova off next turn. Technically, it is possible. Um, let's put Stormy Mountain into play and just uh, get ourselves a Raichu to slap down. Um, yeah, it actually is possible for next turn. It's just not super likely. Um, I'm actually going to retreat now into, I think, the Raichu. And we'll air balloon to that. And we're going to pass. So our, our hope next turn is, um, well, I mean, I guess it's guaranteed at this point we can evolve. If we don't get Marnie, that is. Uh, we can evolve, star birth, grab ourselves a Flaffy and a Turbo Energy. Um, get three energies on, retreat back out with Raichu, and then we can Marnie to, to re redraw some cards in our hand. Um, and then that's going to allow us to Trinity uh, Nova next turn, if everything works out. Um, and then hopefully our target will be this Raichu. So we'll see. We'll see if we can do it. Uh, we're still doing 180, which is actually a really good number since this Crobat, um, of course... Oh, okay. He had to play a second Crobat. It's not looking good for our opponent. Uh, it really isn't. Uh, but our first turn wasn't that good, but the great thing with Arceus V-Star... Uh, with its abilities, you can set it up in one turn pretty consistently, um, especially uh, with this deck, because uh, basically we either got this Mareep down. This is a fighting deck, though, so we, we're going to get one hit KO'd uh, regardless, which is pretty scary, uh, if we're being honest. Oh, Strong Legs Charge. He gets one on, two on. Wow, that's scary. All right, we're scared. We're, we're pretty much KO'd next turn. Uh, there's no way around that. We're KO'd this turn, actually. Wow, what a turn from this guy. Uh, what an absolute first turn insane dude this dude this dude straight up got the 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 attack off wow that is very 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 good that is an extremely good uh turn from him there this is a really bad matchup for us i mean our whole strategy was based around us not getting one hit ko'd um and we are definitely getting one hit ko'd although he does need to double switch out in order for him to attack this turn so i think we kind of just have to continue with our strategy unfortunately um if we hadn't attached the air balloon we could have um, what is this? Oh, <gasps> yo, no way. P shopping center? Wait, 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 wait. We can do this. Wait a minute. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, we shouldn't have brought up Arceus, though, because I forgot we have to Flaffy to it. Oof. That was a misplay on my part. Definitely a misplay on my part. All right. Um, this is not ideal. All right, we're going to Marnie. We need to draw. Nope. Uh, I was going to say we needed to draw like a switch there. Uh, we needed to draw a switch there. I misplayed like entirely. Uh, such a big misplay on my part. Um, dang. Dang. Yeah, we also don't have any energy in our discard pile either, uh, which is just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. Um, okay, we're going to hope that he can attack next turn, and that's basically the only thing that we can really hope for, um, I think. Uh, let's attach this to the Crobat. 
Why didn't we attach to the active? I don't know. Um, if we're being honest, I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, I don't even know if I want a Trinity Nova this turn either. I don't even think we do. Ah, oh, man. That was such a bad turn. I, I played that so poorly. What we should have done uh, was bring up something other than Arceus uh, after he took the KO. Uh, he's going to boss. Does he have double switch? With Does he have boss and double switch? Oh, yeah. He can just move the energies over. Yeah, that's uh, that's GG right there. We could have gotten the KO on that, uh, on that Surfetch because what we would have done is bring up a different Pokemon to put in our active, taken the Air Balloon off of Arceus, put it onto that, uh, then we could have Trinity Burned uh, for a Twin Energy, uh, except it probably wouldn't have worked because we would have had to discard, um, we would have had to discard the, like, a Lightning Energy somehow anyway, um, and we just weren't able to do that. So I did misplay, but uh, that matchup was, like, almost impossible for us. He had, like, the perfect first turn, um, and he's definitely playing a deck that's, uh, that might be the best deck to counter exactly what we're playing, uh, which is unfortunate for us. Uh, unfortunate for me particularly since I'm trying to record this video, but that is a really cool deck a really fun deck And he also had a really great start um, And unfortunately, we just can't do much about uh, a surfetched uh, Turn one with three energies, especially since our whole deck's weak to fighting. Uh, let's run it back though one more I want to get one more game. I'm trying not I want to try not to misplay um, This game, but you know how it is guys. Uh, you know how it is here on the channel always misplaying never making the correct plays um, but, uh, this deck in the hands of a very good player could be, uh, very dangerous. Definitely could be pretty dangerous. Man, we, we're whiffing on energies a lot this, uh, this game, which is not ideal. Um, definitely not ideal. We definitely need, like, that first turn energy attachment. We just haven't been able to get it. We just have not been able to get it, uh, at all. Okay. Okay, um... Let's quick ball away. This thing has 190. We kind of want to keep choice belt so that next turn we could potentially KO it. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of ultra ball with the quick ball and just kind of see what's going on here. Again, we need an energy attachment. Um, we have 10 energies on our deck. We just have not drawn them. We just have not been able to find them. Um, I think we need to thin here and then again crowbat and dig and really just try to find uh, ourselves... And energy to attach this turn. So let's grab the Marie. Put that guy down. I'm actually going to quick ball away the choice belt. And we're going to Crobat for three and just pray, uh, basically, that we draw into an energy to attach to this Arceus. Um, we do. Okay, that's cool. We probably should have kept choice belt around, though, now that I think about it. I'm not sure why I discarded choice belt. Man, that's another, that's another misplay. Because now we can't KO this thing because we only had one choice belt in the deck. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Um, I mean, not the end of the world, I suppose. Uh, so we'll pass here. I believe we only have one choice belt in the deck, or do we have two? Yeah, because I think we had two big charm and two air balloon and one choice belt. Hmm. Maybe we take out a big charm for choice belt. Not 100% sure. He actually plays the power tablet. He's probably just going to thin out his hand, uh, as much as he possibly can. But yeah, 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 discarding that choice belt was definitely not correct. We needed to attach that. We could have just discarded research because, you know, we, we can Trinity burn for uh, to grab another supporter anyway. So, yeah. Hindsight's 2020. Uh, playing terribly in this video, as I normally do, uh, as we always do. But I know you guys enjoy uh, critiquing the gameplay and, and giving me pointers in the comment section, which I honestly highly suggest you guys do. I really do. I don't mind it at all. Uh, and we are playing the dreaded Mew V Max. He only draws one card there off of the Fusion Strike system, and he passes. So that's actually pretty good news for us there. There's another Professor's Research. Um, what we can do actually is get the KO on this Mew. So I don't actually feel too bad um, about last turn. Again, not saying last turn we played correctly or not uh, at all. But um, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, we could quick ball for a Luminion to grab boss's orders, but I actually don't think so. I think we actually are just going to star birth. Uh, four bosses orders and twin energy Let's see here because we can see so yeah turbo energy and uh, Boss so we're gonna KO the Mew here doing 180 exactly and then I'm actually going to quick ball away One of these researches so I have a target to attach the energy to which is going to be of course uh, our ride to Let's attach attach uh, We're gonna boss 
And we're going to take a cheeky little 180 damage KO on the Mew, uh, which gets rid of that fusion energy, which is really good. But we can also put three energies onto this Raichu, uh, which is definitely going to be pretty nice. We only need two on the Raichu, so let's spread it out. Let's put one on the Crobat in case we need to retreat out for whatever reason. And we're going to take two prize cards. There's a Bolton. That's going to be another great target next turn for a Trinity Burn. Um, and I, did we just draw another boss off the prizes? We might have. Um, but depending on what his hand looks like, yeah. Okay, so we got him locked in there. Uh, we got him locked in there. We could have just KO'd the active and didn't have to go for the boss play if we hadn't discarded the choice belt. Uh, but we misplay here. All right, you guys know what it is. You know who I am, and you know you know what happens here on the channel. We don't play super correctly. However, I'm going to wrap up the video there. Um, I think we did a pretty good job, I think, maybe of showcasing just how RC's V-Star can be, uh, you know, built into a deck with Raichu V. Um, we also showcased Raichu V a little bit. I think they go together really well. I think that RC's V-Star is really fun. And to be honest, I think this is probably the closest thing in the format right now to something like a Pikachu and Zekrom. It does actually feel really similar, uh, if I'm being honest with you. It almost feels exactly the same, um, except um, we have to evolve Arceus. Um, whereas with Pikachu Zekrom, he didn't have to evolve in that second turn to really get things moving. Now we do have to evolve that Arceus. Uh, but the deck is effectively the same thing, except we have access to Raichu um, and uh, not so much Bolton V like we did prior. Uh, however, I really do like this deck. Uh, again, it's kind of like the new Pikachu Zekrom. Uh, really, really fun, really fast pace. And uh, if you're a better player than I, which I honestly probably assume that you are, uh, you're going to have a lot of success with this deck and you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Maddie from Chill TCG. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. We have more deck profile content coming for all of the new decks and archetypes. Uh, that came out in Brilliant Stars recently, so I'm really excited uh, to showcase that for you guys in the upcoming days uh, and weeks. I'm just super, super excited. I think the game uh, is really fun to play right now. The format, the meta, uh, is really fun to play. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys next.